Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can draw arrows on chess.com. Now this is very simple and easy to do so make sure you watch right to the end so that you don't miss any steps. So the first thing you want to do is actually create an account or if you already have one go ahead and log in. So the way to do that is coming over to this left hand side and just looking for sign up or log in. So you just want to select one of those options and just create an account. So if you need to sign up you just want to click on this button here which says sign up. And you just want to answer these questions about how new you are. And then you just want to enter in your email and password. Now, if you don't really want to do this, you'd rather lo log in with Google or something like this. You can do that down here. So you can also log in with Google, Apple or Facebook. So I find, so personally, I'm just going to choose to log in with Google because it is the easiest option. So when you've done that, you just want to choose a username. So I'm just going to choose something like this and then click continue. So once you have actually logged in or created your account, it will look something like this. And here's where we actually want to load up a game so that we can draw some arrows. But it is important to note that you can't actually draw arrows in live games because this would give players an unfair advantage. So one of the ways to do this is by drawing arrows on an analysis board. So I'm going to do that. So the way to actually find that would be to go over to the left hand side where there's all these different options. And then you just want to go over to where it says learn, hover over that. And then you just want to go to the top where you can see this option, which says analysis. So click on that. And hit, as you can see, it's now loaded up a board. So the normal way in which we would play, it would just be to left click on any of these things. So the normal way in which we could play is just clicking left clicking on any of these pieces and it'll show you where you can actually move. So as you can see, I can choose either of these for this option. And the same with the other side. But if we were to actually draw an arrow, we can do that by, instead of left clicking, we want to right click. So as you can see, we can do something like that. If we just draw it, you can go all around the board like that. So as you can see, you can do all these different arrows, make them as long as you want. And if we want to remove them, you can literally just click it again and it will be wiped. So you can just do it in whatever direction you want and then remove it just like that. Now we can actually get different colored arrows. So if we hold down control while we do it, as you can see, it turns it into a red one instead of the normal orange. And we can also hold down shift as well. And as you can see, this will give us green arrows. And then finally, we can do with alt as well. So if we hold down alt and then draw an arrow, as you can see, that will give us a blue arrow. So I'll do that one more time. The normal one is orange, which is just a right click. Control would be a red arrow. Alt is a blue arrow. And then finally, shift is a green arrow. So you can use all these different arrows to help you out, or you could be trying to make a video or something like that. And this should help you out a ton. So I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope you successfully managed to draw arrows in chess.com. If you did, please comment down below to say this video helped you out, and like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.